rate of processing on IC2 is just a little too slow. So, and I, and I know I'm going to need more Tesseracts in the near future, so. So, I want to build up some more thermal expansion machines and um, get them going better. I think I yanked the Tesseract from here to power the digital miner, which that might be the first thing we need to do is get some more resources. So I'm trying to remember now how much resources we actually have. The whole AE network needs improving. Uh, let's see. So we really don't have as much quartz as I would like, which probably means that making um, making like a controller is going to be I mean, we've already got some controllers, but we're going to need more. Um, drives. We need more drives, desperately. Um, we can possibly get some of the unique things out of here and free up some slots to hold some more stuff, but really I'd like to just be able to make a whole bunch of drives. Uh, so, let's see. It knows how to craft a 64K storage cell, but yeah, we're missing a lot of redstone. We're missing some pure Certus. We're actually not missing that much. A little bit of redstone and like three pure Certus. That's actually a lot better than I thought. So the first thing we should probably do is make up some more pure service. Get that started at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need Certus Quartz Dust and Sand. See so how many of those made do I know? Give me uh, 20 of those. Sand. See, that's just way too slow. Why is that so slow? Is my AE, is my uh, IC2 machines not full speed? Yeah, it is. I don't know what the deal with that was. Anyway, there's the 20. Make some seeds, thank you. Drop them in here. Turn my magnet off. Drop them in here. And turn on these guys. Ideally, I would have some more cable coming up over to the top of this block and have another one of these guys set up on top of this block with a sticky piston so that I could shove another accelerator over the top of this, but it's fast enough, I guess. Okay, let's see what, if anything, is left in the digital miner while that cooks. Where did I even leave the digital miner? I think it was maybe over here? Yeah. Oh, there's actually a fair amount of stuff in here. Okay.
See, is any of this redstone? Don't much see any redstone in here. Oh, no redstone. <coughs> okay. And what did I do with the test rack? I thought I had a test rack powering this thing. Well, that's great. Wonder what I did with the tesseract. Come on. Oh, did I bring it in here to get the uh, mechanism machines up and running? They've got their own power source now. Oh, here it is. Oh, that's right. I was using it to get lava. Okay. Let's see if those sort of quartz are done growing. Yeah. Good. Come on. Da down. Pick them up. Thank you. Turn that off. Okay, so that's all a pure Certus. How much? Okay, so I think just the Certus ore we picked up, basically. So now I just need a little more redstone. I've got redstone ore. <coughs> trying to remember if any of my picks... Does this pick have fortune? This pick does have fortune. Okay. In that case, let's use him. So we could use an automated, uh, you know, like the macerator or something to break these apart, but then we wouldn't get the fortune. Oh, it's empowered. Doggone it. I don't think I get the fortune effect, though, if it's not. Oh, I do. Still fortune 30. Here in the floor later. I don't have any smooth stone on me. I don't have any in the uh, system. I do have a stack. Okay. Do you have everything you need? <coughs> Looks like it. No crafting CPUs are available. What? No crafting jobs are active. Uh oh, do I not? No? I've got, a, I've got one here. Crafting storage, co processor unit. Why are you not working? <coughs> um, that's a little confusing. So 
I need the crafting unit. Oh, do I not have the crafting unit? I've only got the coprocessor and the storage. Yeah, I've only got the store. I need the crafting unit. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so... See what it's going to take to make one of those. That should be doable. Sadly, it does not know how to make them yet. Uh, let's see. Do I have any spare spots? No, I have zero spare spots. Lovely. Face. I'm not sure that I've got the channels for this though. To channel or not to channel? Did that knock something else offline? <laughs> How many how many total channels is that? That's three. Is that a fourth one on the bottom? No, he actually doesn't have one on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna take that back off and put it on the bottom. He's already getting power from the back. Three, six, seven, and yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be minus a channel or not. These don't really need a channel, they just need power, so I think we might be okay. Now that should work. Now we still have everything we need, it looks like it. Storage not available, crow processors not available. What? Yes they are, they're right here. You've got plenty of channels left. What is, what is your problem? The 
does the line have to touch the crafting unit and not the storage? Uh, that's frustrating. Alright, fine. Have the crafting unit at the base. How about that? There it connects. It thinks it's fine. Does it actually see it? No, it doesn't. Why? Why do you do this? Missing something here. I'll try a piece of smart cable there if I've got any to spare. That sure looks like it's using a, a channel. I I don't know. using one channel, which isn't even enough to show up on the dense cable. these are in the storage down here. Which now doesn't have power. <coughs> Lovely. There's nothing in that chest. So... Oh, because it was going to craft those. No crafting CPUs are available. Really? Is my storage segment just not big enough? Is that the deal? Because this says crafting plan... 
Oh, I need more than 1K. Is that a 1K? That's a 1K. That's what it is. There's no eligible ones available. Like if I do a... Did I teach you how to make a lever? And I tell it to craft that. Yeah. See? So that is working. I just need a bigger storage segment. And I haven't taught how to make any of those. Lovely. Um, okay. about a 4k why is that not Okay, I don't know why that's not putting the pattern in there now. A 4K storage segment, please. And give me one of those, please. Time now. Thank you. There. Throw that in the molecular assembler. Craft me one of those, please. Thank you. should be able to say make me one of those yes okay that really needs a better error message really badly all right <clears throat> start you up you're going to take quite a while I imagine because you're gonna make all those circuits so do you even have an estimated amount of time not really It's happily going about mashing things. Okay, we're gonna leave it working on that. And we're gonna go move the digital miner, I think. Uh, we really need to make a dolly. Do we not have a dolly? Yeah, dollies are in the pack. Iron and a piece of wood. Let's make sure we don't have any in there. Uh, I think we have a dolly already made somewhere. I just don't remember if it's a diamond one. I know we have moved some chests around before. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right. So and I need let's grab this tesseract from in here. I need power.
for the moment I'm just going to throw stuff throw stuff into these other chests sorting things later. Actually, hopefully we won't have to sort any of it. We'll just be able to throw it all in the ME network. That's the ultimate goal. more inventory. set it up next. It's hard to tell where it has and has not already been mined out because it doesn't really leave any markers. Let's go for... Where's my glider? There's my glider. Let's go for it. I don't want to get too far away. Maybe up here on this hill behind the uh, portal pod. Yeah. Let's go for somewhere a little bit visible, like right here. Tesseract on one of the legs. Set to power. There we go. Not ready to mine zero. Okay, so it's looking for anything with ore in a radius of in a radius of how far is it from here over to the pod? Here's my tape measure. Oh, I never did resync my ender pouch when I had the whole debacle with the world edit. Fine, fine. We'll just guesstimate. Radius of 50. How about that? Oh, 32 is the most it'll do. Oh, sorry folks, I forgot about the, uh, I have my numeric keypad set up to um, change scenes. Oh, 
15, okay, so max. I think max is how far up to go. So 60 would be sea level. What Y are we at now? 107? Sure. Okay. Okay, that's a lot of uh, blocks to go through. So I already found a piece of redstone though. I'm kind of surprised that's all it's found yet, but it may be working from up to down, in which case it's... Uh, Got two speed upgrades on it already. Using 2.64 kilojoules per tick. Needs 97.98. Oh, it would help if I actually set it to a channel that was carrying RF. Um, I think that big reactor may be Sure Shaddai's big reactor. RF power QB I think is mine and this needs to be in energy receive maybe What's going on? Do I have power down there? And if so, what's the name of the uh, what is the name of the tesseract down there at the reactor? It's been too long since I played this world. Chicken Masher's living up to its name. Still has the same problem as the old Chicken Masher. They multiply like crazy when you're not there and the pistons don't work. Good way to collect hats if you care about hats, though. Okay, the batteries are, that one's maxed, that one's maxed, that one's maxed, that one is maxed, the reactor is still owned for some reason, which is not good. Yo, program, what are you doing to me? Oh, he's not set up with the wire verification system. I need to fix that. 
there's a problem with the uh, computer craft terminals and the red alloy wire where the terminal will try to set the state of the wire and then the wire won't take the state properly. The workaround is to actually wrap the wire onto a second face of the uh, computer craft terminal and have it verify the state of the wire from that second face. Um, I evidently have not taken the time to do that on this one. So, anyway, test right. No, that is just big reactor. Okay. So what is this one? I have no idea what that one is. Okay, but you are configured to send power, right? Yes. Energy mode send. Okay. Well, in that case, let's see. Blizz. There we go. Now it's working. Yeah. That one piece of redstone must have been from some internal RF buffer that the digital miner has. Yeah, it does have a, a buffer there. Yep, it's getting all the power it needs now. Cool. Alright, let's go see how the 64K drive is coming. I never built this pod. <gasps> I never built this pod. There should be another pod right here. It's done. All right. Yeah, 64K drive. Storage, oh yes please. Okay, that should give us lots of storage for stuff. And we can import a bunch of the ores from these things. Let's see, I'm just going to rip that out from there, take it upstairs, and throw a bunch of the stuff. What? How, how are you in here? How are you even in here? Oh, that's how. I have no torches on me, but I can fix it with this. There. I hope somebody takes up AE, um, not AE, um, Ars Magica and brings it into Minecraft 110. It's overpowered, but it's fun. I arguably should just do an import bus, but I'm not sure I want all of this stuff in there. So I don't want the ores. And the metal. Yeah, the dark steel and the electrical steel can go in there. Um, ideally, all of this stuff would go in there, but we may need another 64K drive before we get some of that kind of stuff in there. Okay, because a lot of this is just leftover building materials from that eyesore pod out there. I'll throw those in there, that and that and that. And the rest of this we're going to take back down, stick where it was and grab the next chest. Which one had the most ore next to that one? 
that one. Okay. Yellow right. Hopefully this is all going to fit. That is most of the raw materials in the AE network, where it belongs. Wonder, I don't suppose we have enough to make another one of these, do we? Not yet, no. We probably have enough raw materials, but we'll have to process them.
Okay. Try and migrate a bunch of this stuff into the in the network as well. Eventually, I want to do that, but for now, I think I'm going to leave them out because <coughs> they're going to take up a lot of room in the network if I'm not careful. randomness. Okay. Uh, let's see. There. Okay. So I want to get another quantum bridge set up to the uh, thermal expansion area. Uh, let's see. Any quantum rings? eight quantum rings and a quantum link chamber. A quantum ring. Quantum ring is actually not bad. Actually all of that may be doable. I have the singularities. it need here? Two logic processors and an engineering processor. I'll take it a second because it's gated at the speed of those presses. Not to mention the import and export times. Now, 
Oh, I'm missing one. <laughs> one pure service quartz. Fine, fine, fine. We'll make more Certus. Meanwhile. thing again. At least my magnet is off this time. Oh, come on. I was not close enough to that. There. Actually, I guess I was, but... Okay. Coded? No, you do not. I'm going to need another interface soon. That is at least easy to make. Oh, I just realized though, I need, I'm making one set, I need two. There's two, in, two ends to the bridge. I need 16 of these. 
Which, of course, means I don't have enough gold or Fluix crystal. Oh, or diamond. Or silicon. Okay. Sigh. Let's go check on the digital miner, shall we? Oh, digital miner, where art thou? Make sure it's not overflowing out here. I really need to make some more torches. I was going to try and avoid Ars Magica altogether this time because before we reset the server this last time um, I had gone heavily that route. But it's so convenient for lighting up large areas it's just hard to ignore. But it makes other fun mods that are in the pack like Torched not be nearly as uh, not nearly as useful when you can just spam mage lights everywhere. Oh, you're not even close to being full. 13 diamond ore, though. A bunch of redstone. Did you actually finish? No, you're still going. 4432, are you are you actually progressing? Are you stuck on something? Um You're out of power. Why are you out of power? You can't possibly be out of power. Did did you drain my entire reactor? Not possible. Not possible. No, there's still energy in there. So plenty of energy in there. So why then are you giving me grief about You're not chunk loaded, are you? Yeah, because you progressed a little more. Wait, is my chunk loader not working? Where did my chunk loader go? Zone, yeah, it was on this maintenance level. There it is. may not be far enough to reach the uh, digital miner. It's not. Pretty sure. Uh, yeah, I don't think it is. Okay, okay. Well, that's fine. We can just make another chunk loader. My system can handle it.
Alright. So what does it take to make another chunk loader? That's easy. That we can do. Ideally I would teach the system how to make that, but I'm running out of pattern slots, so... Obsidian... Diamond... Book... Oh, really? No books? Paper... Leather... Diamond... Obsidian... One of those... Is it on the bottom? Yeah, and an ender pearl on the top. Okay. Gold... In pearl. There we go. chunks. There was 32 blocks, right? Radius. Can't configure it while it's... I'm just going to go for another 10. Okay, that's a good range. There. You still are without power. Why? still without power. I don't get this. It should be receiving power. It should totally be receiving power. I messed something up when I was checking on the reactor the time before last. Lots of power. Yeah, 
It's set to 256. It's set to send only. Control status is disabled. It's obviously sending power somewhere, because this is falling. I don't get that. That should be receiving all kinds of energy. Just to make sure that this thing is actually pulling in energy. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to destroy it, so don't freak out. But I want to make sure this thing actually is receiving power. It's receiving power! So why, O oh Digital Miner, are you not doing a thing? my test rack just go? Um, excuse me? That's not cool. That's not cool at all. Yeah, okay, I'm giving myself my Tesseract back, because that just, that should not have happened. Oh, don't go on, Creeper.
I mean, when my when my nuclear reactor blew up, that was my fault. This is not my fault. This is the game being stupid. So yes, I'm going to give myself the Tesseract back. Big, but it is full of power. Well, actually, it remembers its config. It's actually pulling stuff out again now. So evidently it has issues if it ever gets unchunk loaded or unchunk loaded in certain ways. I didn't know it had that kind of an issue. Okay, well at least it's going again now. this back with me as I can. gold at all. Grown. Fine, fine. Process it manually. Actually... Let's see, does this give me two right off the bat? Yeah, but then I have to process it through because it's crushed ore. I'm going to process this through the thermal expansion machines. No, I'm not. I got no power. What a mess my base is.
I used to really love IC2, and now it's just gotten cumbersome and overly complicated. take it through the thermal thing because I don't think it's even warmed up. Thermal centrifuge, it's not. gold. Silicon's going to be a little more challenging because I'm going to have to pulverize sand and that means I need to get power over there which means I need to borrow the tesseract that's currently on the digital miner. actually crafting anything where you know. Um, so I'm going to teach this thing how to make even Tesseract frames. No, I didn't because it has to know how to make Enderium and that requires Enderium blend which requires liquid resonant ender you yep 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 That's interesting, it has a little thing in, under the bottom when it's running. Okay, so it's going to be a while before that's done. Which is okay, I suppose. 
Maybe another Tesseract we can borrow instead. Could always yank the one off the IC2 machines. Or do we still have a Tesseract over here with the mechanism? Whoa, that's where I wanted to go, but okay. Do we still have one over here somewhere? I don't think we do because I think we got it set up with its own power source. No. I do still want to finish mechanism, but we need more test racks. We need thermal expansion up and running better than it is now. See, what if anything did I set up over here? Oh, this was Ender I.O. I don't suppose there's one over here. Um, no. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I can pull the one off the IC2 pod. Um, what do I really need to be doing next? I, I know I need more test racks. I need to upgrade these machines to resonant. That means more resonant ender. I don't think I have any AE network fluid handling capabilities in this pack, which was a real oversight. I'm not sure if they were available in 1710. Well, I don't know. It's got a point-to-point -point tunnel for fluid. And if it can do that, maybe it knows how to craft things with fluid. Probably means I would have to set up external storage and put like a storage bus on it, but that wouldn't be bad. Trying to think what the simplest test is that we could use. So if it's got a point-to-point -point tunnel for fluid, it's at least got to be capable of transferring fluids somehow. I just don't know that it can be taught to use them in recipes without add-ons. Regardless, if we're going to automate anything over here, we've got to get the quantum bridge up and running. Um, do we have any more Enderium actually made? Highly unlikely. Nope. Fine, fine. How much of a hassle is this going to be to make by hand? Tin, tin, silver, shiny, and it specifically has to be shiny. And resident ender. How much? 
much shiny do we have? Very, very little. That's kind of scary. Really? No buckets? Really? No iron? <laughs> oh man, if it's not one thing. Okay, I was going to say, I should have had two buckets there. Him. It at least knows how to make that. That makes things considerably easier. However, the fact that the induction smelter only has one charge of energy before it's done does not make things easier. Looks like it may be enough, though. And why do I hear a zombie? Where is that? Whoa! Why are you guys spawning up here? Oh, because these things have decided they're not going to light up like they're supposed to. <sighs> that world edit really messed with things. Creepers, yeah. What ranged weapons do I have? Don't really want to use the matter cannon. That's really the only ranged one I've got. Come on, you know you want me. Walk off the edge. No, 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 no! that are supposed to be helping me are instead causing dark spots. Grimstone. I don't know if we have any more Grimstone made. What? Where did you come from? Where? Oh good, we do have some more brimstone. Do we have a chisel? Where is my chisel? <sighs> Where is my chisel? I, 
I evidently have no chisel. Okay, fine. Make a new chisel. Maybe I wore out the old chisel, I don't remember. Let's see, which one is that? I think that's that one, maybe. Yeah. There, okay. Well, that could have been a lot worse. Okay. Don't need that, don't need that. Now where am I at? Um, don't need that. Oh yes, I was cooking down some of this. Oh, and it takes, I didn't make enough blazing pyrothium. That's great. XP left to fill this up. What? Hardened glass from thermal expansion. I'm thinking the fused quartz might actually be a better choice. Oh, well, that's a lot of nether quartz. Well, that's lead and obsidian dust, so it's kind of like, eh, don't know which one's really better. Considering we have some hardened glass for now, the hardened glass recipe version is better. Tesseract frame, thank you. Fluid transposer is the one we want. One bucket that it needs. Yes, sweet. Okay. 
it's a full Tesseract frame. Now I still need to make it actually be a Tesseract, which requires silver and bronze. Of course I've got no bronze. Why would I have bronze? Hmm. I always forget whether it's one to three in favor of ten or one to three in favor of copper. I guess it's the copper. Yeah, there we go. We're now officially out of recipe slots. Again. One full up test rack. Thank you very much. Let there be power! Oh, yeah. Okay, we're back in business. Now, all of these things need to get upgraded to resonant. And I need to make the rest of the machines. And I need to get the uh, quantum bridge set up. Oi. Let's check on the digital miner again, I guess. Let's see. Don't I have a... I guess I don't have a teleport pad set up in the portal pod. Sign is still on, that's a good sign. Gathering lots of good stuff, that's good. That's still going to take a while to finish. But it doesn't matter if it does now because we have. We have a Tesseract to power all this. Okay. So, for example, no, don't give me those. Show me the pattern. So let's say we've already got a basic. Yeah, we're going to have to go through... Ooh. Through Invar and Electrum and Signalum. You know, as I'm thinking about it, we don't necessarily have to upgrade them to resonant. We can first get automation going and then worry about upgrading them because really upgrading them to resonant is only going to allow us to increase speed, efficiency, you know, add more modifiers onto them, which we really don't need for automation. Need to replace this pipe. Some better energy cable. Um so right now, I think the holdup was we needed silicon.
We needed a gold and we needed silicon to finish making the quantum bridge. I don't remember how much silicon we needed. See, so this is fairly slow. If this was a resonant machine, it would go a lot faster. I may have to go find another desert to dig some sand. And we're probably going to have to make some more dense cable. I'm not quite sure where we're going to put the tower side of the um, quantum bridge. We've got one over there. In theory, we would put it over there because that's close to, that's the direction of the thermal expansion pod. But that's a lot of dense cable to run over that direction. Fluix, that's right. We're missing Fluix crystal. <sighs> Don't give them to me. Show me the recipe. On it. Charge, Certus, Nether Quartz, and Redstone. How much charged quartz do we have? None. Lovely. Might as well do two stacks, I guess. Need to figure out a way to get this automated. Let's see, where can we put it? Cable, do we have any cable on us? No. mouse button has a hold feature. <laughs> it's ironic, but I think this may be faster than waiting on them. There's probably some sweet spot that's a little bit slower than just holding it down, but... Some of them can take just so long. It's like you'd have to do some kind of statistical analysis to find out when the right time. And the change in the texture is so subtle. there's a way to automate this.
waiting a second or two in between clicks seems to be possibly the best rate. And again, just spamming it may be okay. How fast do we get? This is with the mouse with the hold button on my mouse set. So I'm going to count from the next one that comes in. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 1,000. So about 11 seconds that time. Let's see about the next one. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, about 11 seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. So that was about three seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four. That was about four seconds. Yeah, so you can have some fairly lengthy times in between, but it looks like just spamming it might be better. Because every time you stick one in, there's a chance that it's going to be instant. And you can cycle through them pretty fast. I am going to have to call the stream here in just a little bit because I've got to run an errand and see about some lunch. I would like to get at least one set of the um, bridges made. One end of it, you know. Finish off the stack already. Of course, I got a, another stack to go. Why did I just put those in there? I need those. I need those, and I need another quartz. And I need redstone. And even though we don't need the accelerators, we can use that same puddle of water. Fluix!
see. Is that everything? I hope, I hope. Yes, okay. Good. It's got cables and things that it's having to make. Major hold up is the circuits now, I think. I need to get a whole bunch of those made ahead of ahead of time. there. Almost there. Almost there. the logic processors. Or maybe it was working on the engineering processors before, but it should be crafting the logic processors now. Yep. Squish. Slow. This thing is slow. Just one left, though. Just one left. Take one of those. Come on. Come on. You can do it. All right. Eight of those. And this is where we're going to end it today, uh, but I want to just throw these up against the wall and let it form. May even move this next time, but boom! Yeah, that looks so good. Love the way that looks. Of course, we'll put the singular one half of the singularity in here, one half of the singularity in the other one, so we've got to build another eight of these. We've already got the second link chamber. And then we can run a dense cable over here, and we're going to need um, another set of test racks. Um, two more. Um, one to power, because like this, it takes a fair amount of power to start this bridge up at the beginning, and so you want a test rack on either end to establish the bridge, and after that it'll sustain itself through the network. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're watching this on Twitch, I hope you'll remember to leave a, uh, a follow. Hit that follow button for all the latest and greatest. And if you're seeing this on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe for all the uh, upcoming videos. We stream more than just Minecraft. Uh, lots of various things. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful new year, and we will see you next time.